Imagine a world millions of years after evolution. This is a new chapter within the story of the dinosaurs. Our modern world is home to an ecosystem of different creatures. Now their future is prehistoric. Welcome to the harsh deserts of America, a land where creatures coexist, not just any particularly any animal. This is the modern Jurassic Park, where animals of any kind make survival a challenge to mankind. This ecosystem can be dangerous. Sometimes, there is hardly any water in deserts. Deserts can be found across the globe, expect for colder landscapes. In the Jurassic universe, deserts are home to prehistoric animals. Deserts are home to flying reptiles. Deserts are home to dinosaurs and some species of mammals and birds. There are so many different species of dinosaur, including one from episode 4. Meet the desert Ankylosaurus tarkia. How can dinosaurs live in these deserts? The idea behind dinosaurs living in deserts can be mm, a great example towards dinosaur paleontology. We now know that several different species of dinosaurs can survive in deserts just like modern day animals. In the modern day, meerkats lived in the deserts of Africa. They can stand up to keep an eye out of any predators. And dinosaurs can have special features. However, there are creatures with feathers that can adapt in deserts, like this creature. This creature is known as Velociraptor and you can tell based on the sickle claws and its unique features but dinosaurs can survive in deserts in different parts of the world In the last episode of the future is prehistoric we talked about the European version of the Ankylosaurus Ankylosaurs are armored animals with osteoderms covering its entire body with a bony tail club. Ankylosaurus can use its body armor from predators like Tyrannosaurus rex. The movie version of Ankylosaurus evolved from broad, robust dinosaur with two horns pointing backward from the back of the head. Tarkia is bigger than Ankylosaurus, roughly around the same size making it one of the largest armored dinosaurs in the world. Tarkias are herbivores so they have to find food like desert bushes and dry vegetation because these kind of dinosaurs are desert specialists. There are colorful dinosaurs in deserts. Meet the feathered oviraptor. Archaea can survive the deserts because they can go to different places to find food. 
Deserts are one of the warmest and hottest biomes in the world, making challenges for animals to survive, including the oviraptor. When it comes to the idea of dinosaurs and oviraptor, people describe the actual animal known as the egg thief. We currently know that oviraptor can protect their eggs from predators like velociraptors or any other dinosaurs by sitting on top of them which helps to keep their eggs cool because these sorts of dinosaurs when they have when they've been completely covered in feathers just like modern birds. This is Oviraptor, which is a bird-like dinosaur with feathers just like a modern bird. Oviraptor came from a group of feathered dinosaurs called the Oviraptorids. Dot, dot, it includes creatures like Oviraptor, Corythoraptor, and Gigantoraptor. These type of dinosaurs are beat sorry because they came in different shapes and size with different shapes of their crests and they are covered in feathers because some species are adapted to deserts. The Oviraptor is different in Jurassic World Dominion because millions of years ago they were called the egg thieves. They can eat other dinosaur eggs as a part in their diet and take care of their own young on nests. Oviraptors has the survival tools to build nests for their eggs. We see this in fossils of Oviraptor where the females sit on top of the eggs and use their own feathers to protect the eggs from predators. But some dinosaurs use different methods. This is Isisosaurus from prehistoric planet 2. The female has to migrate to the volcanic badlands to lay their own eggs by using geothermal soil in the earth itself to keep the eggs in the right temperature. Now let's see how Oviraptor do their own survival skills in the desert. As some of the females already have built in their nests, the other dinosaurs are building their nests because their claws have a special material. The claws used for digging are made of keratin, which is the same material as for your fingernails and birds and dinosaurs have these features for their claws, tail spikes of stegosaurs and crests of different species. The oviraptors are digging out nests to rest to sit close to the eggs in a circle. Feathered animals can dig nests for their young, and other animals use digging as a tool. In the modern day, puffins dig underground nests to live there and nest in colonies and sea cliffs by raising a single chick in the summer each year. And mammals dig underground burrows to keep their babies safe from predators. Like rabbits keep themselves safe from foxes, and foxes are safe from fox hunters and hunting dogs. And in the fossil record, dinosaurs like Erictodromus has been digging burrows underground because paleontologists has found fossils of tunnels with bones of this dinosaur and pieces of paleart of these dinosaurs in burrows like, just like modern animals. Once there was an oviraptor looking for a place to stay. Until a atrociraptor attacks. There are other predators in this harsh environment, like the Asian Tyrannosaur called Tarbosaurus. This is an image of two different dinosaurs, Tyrannosaurus rex and Tarbosaurus. The main difference is their size, and you can see the identification between these dinosaurs by their crests and their small arms, because they are part of a are of a family group of dinosaurs known as the Tyrannosaurus. Sometimes people can mistake other dinosaurs as their favorite dinosaurs, but Tarbosaurus lives in Asia, at the same time living with Velociraptor at 70 to million years ago. Plus, it did make appearance in Jurassic World Hidden Adventure, with a more spiky look than its real-life look.
One of the older Tarbosaurs is hunting for fresh meat. And she has a smell of blood. Due to this dead dinosaur called Dreadnoughtus. She is using a strong scent of smell on this carcass just to see if other predators has eaten the dead dinosaur. And she picked up a scent from a small tyrannosaur called Moros Intrepidus. This is a Acrocanthosaurus, a giant high spin predator. To avoid any fights with this carnivore, the Tarbosaur leaves until these predators are in danger from the sky. The giant king of the skies, Quetzalcoatlus. And it's not just Tyrannosaurus or any other uh, pterosaur species. There are, of course, giant astarchids like Quetzalcoatlus. When the skies is ruled by large pterosaurs, Quetzalcoatlus is one of the largest flying reptiles that can come to a height at the same size as a modern giraffe. So these sorts of astarchids are huge. Quetzalcoatlus can be about the size of an average giraffe with a long neck, with a long beak, with a short crest on its head, and a huge wingspan around um, several meters and stuff, but they can eat differently eat because they're hunting on the ground instead of hunting in water for fish because astarchids can eat dinosaurs. The Acrocanthosaur is trying his best to scare away the giant pterosaurs, but they are dangerous because if there's more quetzals in the sky, their beaks could lead him to death by stabbing him. The giant pterosaurus has won the carcass, forcing the acro to abandon his only meal in this desert. The acro will be back for his meal. Once the pterosaurs had their fill, this wasn't the only time that happened. That animals fight for food. In the modern world, eagles fight for food during the winter times. They can eat anything from foxes, rabbits, fish, and other small mammals. Quetzalcoatlus lived with large predators like Tyrannosaurus rex, and they can kill a T. Rex with their long beaks if they are in groups.
the desert night when there was no predators, our raptors are beginning to start mating with different groups. In the modern animal world, has more colorful ways to attract a mate. Colorful birds like the peacock, the males attract the females by using their long tail feathers to be spread out like a paper fan and shake them to see if the female is interested which she is called a peafowl. The male oviraptors continue to impress on the females and they are making choices to pick the right one to start their lives on having their own children. It looks like one of the female's mind is made up with the most attractive male in the desert. The Oviraptor group has come back to their area to the female's eggs are about to be hatched with their new leaders. This young Tarkia is being chased by a Tartosaurus hunting its prey. The baby dinosaur has lost the Tarbo because the predator has to run away from big flying animals. Well, in this episode of the future is prehistoric is short due to the editing progress take like days to make one video. Because the laptop is slow on cap cut. This dinosaur made people think of it as an egg thief, but it was a parnet of its eggs shown in its fossils. To an ankylosaur that can survive in deserts. With giant pterosaurs that live with giant predators and eat their meals. And a tyrannosaur that is known as Asia's T. Rex. Subscribe to watch the rest of the future is prehistoric series.